What's going on, beer tubers? Eric, actually coming back at you with yet another beer review, and today is beer review number 150. Um, it's got a little bit of a milestone. Uh, 100 to 150 has been a really slow time for me. I've eclipsed one year on YouTube. Um, didn't really do anything special for it. Really probably should have busted out a whale or something to review, but I didn't. So, um... I'm not really bringing in something too special, but it's something that I didn't think that we could get locally, um, and we didn't. I got this in a trade from Casey and Ryan. This is Habanero Sculpin IPA from Ballast Point Brewing Company. Um, just got this. It says heat may vary. Um, so basically, to my understanding, they brew this with a bunch of habanero peppers, and yeah, it's just standard sculpin, which I absolutely loved. So I'm going to pour it out here. In lieu of Town Hall Barrel Aged Week, which I am not going to, I thought I'd use their glass to kind of promote them. So check out Town Hall Brewing Company if you're local. Their barrel aged beers are fantastic, albeit a little pricey at $30 a growler. So, now this one clocks in at 7% alcohol by volume. Uh, just, just really love Ballast Point's artwork. And it pours out that beautiful sculpin, hazy orange, amber, uh, golden to the light a little bit. Um, wow, nice, nice finger and a half worth of tight white bubbles. Let's get the nose on it. I really like pepper beer, so I'm really hoping for something special here. Oh my god. It's like Scoville unit nightmare. Yeah, you just smell that earthy rind of the habanero pepper. Um, this one sounds like it <laughs> smells like it's going to be pretty damn spicy. Getting some of those citrusy, fruity notes from uh, Sculpin as is. A little bit of bready uh, toffee-like malt, but really this is a pepper-dominant beer, and we're going to get into it. Cheers. Holy shit. Uh, funny enough, yesterday I went to a hot sauce store in Mall of America and uh, tried Flashbang, which is their hottest hot sauce. You have to sign a waiver and everything. Um, it's a little micron sized amount. And uh, after we're done, he's like, oh, it's, we're both like, it's not that bad. And uh, the store attendant decides to tell us it's going to burn between now and 10 minutes. The intensity only increases. And then 40 minutes thereafter, it's just going to burn, burn, burn. And it did. And nothing quenched it. Um, Samuel Adams Summer Ale didn't do it. But this has got a really, really nice, uh, this might be one of the best well-integrated pepper beers I've ever had. Yeah, immediately it's just that that real twangy, uh, scorching-like note of the habanero pepper that a lot of people just love it for the flavor, and it's really capturing the flavor. There's uh, a good amount of heat covering the mouth. Going down, there's a, a slight burn, but nothing overwhelming, nothing like crime and punishment from um, Stone. This is just really well-crafted. Um, not a lot of the base beer showing through here. The pepper is very dominant. I am picking up on some of those tropical piney dankness notes from the hops. Oh, and it's 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 just God. I don't know. I I really like it. I really like pepper beer. So original Sculpin. This one. Um, God, this, this is just a really cool variant, and it's really cool that they actually bottle it. Normally, these would be cask one-offs. So, there is a market for pepper beers, and I would love to share a uh, Surly Dumpster Fire with you, but they don't bottle it or can it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going a 92 out of 100. I think it uh, isn't better than the base beer. It's just different. Uh, it'd be nice if some of the base beer did, you know, shine through and really wow you. But this is just a really cool beer, and I think I actually might save some of this uh, remaining of the amount of the bottle and make some, like, sculpin, habanero sculpin chicken, or I don't know. We'll experiment cooking with it. So thanks for joining me for another beer review, you guys. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.